tense. Yeah, yeah, tense. Um, very, very good win. Like that's one of them that we last year we looked back on those seven or eight losses we had, and that would have been one of them. Um, so fair play to the boys. Credit to sticking it right at the end. Some really, really good discipline towards the end to, to close that game out. It was so physical, and and, and the risk of. Uh making a contentious statement in the first half you seem to be coming off second best in like that yeah I'd, I'd like credit credit to Irish we knew they were coming up they're going to play you know they've, they've got a big set of forwards and a very fast set of backs so it's hard to contain um, and it's something that we prep for all week but it doesn't matter how well you prep does it until until you come on the pitch and see what's happening they, they definitely prepped a few things for us and you know they, they say they were getting the rub of the green but we stuck in it we knew that we had two shots and we scored twice um, that was the most you know, positive thing for us going half time and we knew that if we come out in the second half and stuck to our game plan and we're disciplined with it, we'd be fine. Once again, the driving line that brings you right back into that game. Yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's something we work super hard on. It's not even a secret anymore. Like Everyone knows it's what we've got and it's just a matter of time. It might not be the first, second, third. It could be the you know 10th, 11th, 12th, towards the end of the game. And, and that's something that we pride ourselves on. And then tell me that the Adam Hastings drop goal was absolutely plenty. He, he, honestly, he does practice in training, but I can't always hear they go over. Sometimes they end up in the stands, sometimes they end up behind him. That one, you know, fair play to him, went over and, and what a kick it was. And, and then that was a kick that edged the lead. And as you say, the end of that game just talked everything about Gloucester Spurs. Yeah. Everything, you know, we, we ne never say die. Like, we're at the end there, we get a line out steal, Albert gets a couple of turnovers. Boys that come on, you know, Lloyd and Vaughan's kicked two brilliant kicks to put us in great field position, and everyone added and did what they needed to do. I'm stunned, really. You know, so, you know, that that was, as you say, you said to me just before we started this interview, sport is about entertainment, it's, and that was entertainment. It's an entertainment sport, and hopefully, all the fans were unhappy. They were good, actually, fans. and a lot of them, a lot of them. Like, fair play, we we do appreciate it. Like we do a lap at the end there. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's more Gloucester fans than Irish fans, to be fair. Um, a, a lot of cherry and white in the stands, which is great to see and definitely helps us in those tight moments. We both had the same thought as, as soon as the word fans came out of, of, of our mouth because the numbers then at that end were, yeah. were phenomenal. Yeah, the, that end and in the corner over there, there, was, there seemed to be cherry and white fans everywhere. And, you know, it, it's, it's a huge following. You know, we've got like the best supporters in the league. So we do appreciate it and hopefully we can take it back to Kingsley next week.